Okay, so for creating your landscape, you want to create a new map and open it up. We already have this map opened up, so we're not going to do that. And then you want to go up into the modes and click landscape. And then you want to go down to section, si section size and choose how big you want the map. We have it set for 15 times 15 quads, which is enough for your first map, but you can choose it any size you want. And then you want to create them. So, uh, click create. As you can see, we have our landscape here. And up here, just underneath the modes, under landscape, there is three sections used to edit the landscape. There's manage, which is used to manage the landscape. Sculpt, which you can use to transform the terrain. And then there's paint, which you can use to change the texture or, and materials of the landscape. So in the manage one, we have the selection tool, which is used to select uh, components of the landscape and if you change your brush size you can choose multiple ones rather than just a single one it's up to your preference really then there's the add one the add tool which as you can guess adds pieces of landscape on there's the delete tool which removes them in sections again this can all be changed in your brush, brush size so you can delete multiple ones rather than just single ones then there is the move level which moves the, select compo the selected components to the specified streaming level and then the change component size which as you can see here allows you to change the landscape but we're not going to do that and then there's also the edit spleens to use the edit spleens you have to click control on the left mouse button and this will place a spleen node and if there isn't already another spleen now down, it will create one and it connects them up. Uh, so you can see that they're both here and they can both edit the landscape in multiple different ways. But we're not going to use them. Then over here there's sculpt, the sculpt tools. First we have the sculpt tool which is used to raise and lower the terrain. If you click the left mouse button it raises the terrain. If you hold shift and click the left mouse button it lowers the terrain. And again it can all be changed in your brush size and fall off. Then there is the smooth tool which will smooth out the texture back to the original height. And it smooths out all the rough edges of your terrain. And then there is the flatten tool which is used which can be used to either raise or lower areas of your terrain, depending on which one you have selected first. Apparently. You can't really see it properly here because it's not enough it's not enough terrain moved down. So just to demonstrate it we'll go to the sculpt tool, we'll increase this part and decrease that part. So you go into your flatten tool and it's either going to raise the ground or it's going to lower the ground as you can see here. The next tool we have is the ramp tool. Now this tool can this tool is used to as you guess create ramps. But the way it works is you select one area where you want to ramp and then you select the next and then you can adjust the scale and the size of the ramp in by clicking tab or oh, not tab space the space bar which will allow you to change the size of it and where you want it and the height and etc and then once you have that done and you can choose the ramp right here once you have that done just click add ramp and it will create the ramp and after that we have erosion erosion is used to Create uh, s is well. This erosion tool is used to create soil. Well, not create soil, but it gives the effect of uh, soil that's been eroded. It works a lot better with textures. Actually, we'll sh oh, no, I'll show you the textures after, so you can see how it looks. And then we'll go back to this. But as you can see, uh, the higher the height is, the more it will fall down and be eroded, basically. And then you have hydro erosion. 
It, very, it works in the same way as the erosion tool. The only difference is it gives the effect of water rather than soil. Then there is the noise tool. And the noise tool determines where soil and water was distributed from erosion and hydro erosion. And it also apply, applies a noise filter. And that ground is getting very messy, we're going to have to fix that. And then there is re retopologize. This pushes and pulls triangles to smooth transition and keep the basic form with minimal changes to the height of the landscape. It's a bit difficult to see, but you can see it a little bit. And the only thing with this is it makes the project slower to render, so it should only be used if needed. And then there is the visibility visibility tool. Now you can only see this when texture is put into it. Yeah. But um basically what it does is it creates holes in the landscape which can be used for caves and underground tunnels and etc. Uh but it'll only be visible if you have a material or texture on the landscape. I know. Okay. There we go. And then you have your region tools, which the there is the selection tool, and this is used to lay, lay down a mask of a selected in a selected area to control the sculpt and paint of it. So we can choose to either not have that. We can either choose to have it just that raised or painted. And then after that, the next tool we have is our copy and paste tool, which is used to copy data from one area onto the next, and it can even be copied into other landscapes. And then after that, we have the mirror tool, which is used to reflect one area of one side of the landscape onto the next. So as you'll see here, see, now I'm just going to remove that because I don't want that in it. And if you're wondering why there's no walls or anything else from the start of the video, it's because I delete them to make more space. And then next we have our paint tools. But to use the paint tools, you, you will need to have material on your landscape. So I'm just going to put that in now. And there's the sand layer info. And then do you want to click the plus? Go into your textures. Okay. Anyways, as you can see, here is our sand, and here is our gravel. Oh, need to have it selected. And as you can see, there's a gravel, and they blend over each other depending on how much you put down in the one area. But as you can see, they blend quite a bit, and that is for putting your materials on to paint. Uh, with these tools there is the smooth tool which is used to smooth out areas as you can guess. Then there is the flatten tool which flattens the area when you're painting. And then there is the noise tool. These are all basically the same as the ones from Sculpt. Now for your brush tools there is the circle brush tool, which is just a normal circle. It's used for all the sculpting tools, and the size and strength of the fall off and the fall out, sorry, is changed to your preference, really. But yeah, so as you can see, there's a circle there, and then there is the alpha brush tool, which creates uh, a mask image with brush stroke, which raises and lowers the area highlighted as you can see. And then there is the where am I? There I am. There is the pattern brush tool which creates a mask that repeats across the terrain and it also raises and lowers the highlighted area. And it's not showing up here probably because I have flatten selected. And there's also the component of brush tool which moves the component up and down and it's just used in s squares. So if you want to just have individual squares selected you can use the component tool. And then for the because for the fall off tools there is smooth which 
uh, falls off at balance speed and it creates smooth uh, creates a smooth c cylinder shape and uh, this also works with sculpting as well I believe yeah it also works with sculpting so I'll show you in that so now it's smooth it creates a fall off and then there is linear which uh, gives a constant fall off and that was too big and then there is the sphe spherical tool which starts off slow but it, finish quick, it finishes quickly as it comes closer to the edge of the brush and then there is the tip tool which drops quick uh, drops quickly and levels up, levels the smooth gradient out and just get so like so and there you have it there is all the tools and the small little landscape created thank you for watching